who of all the people that you've worked with, uh, who do you cherish the most? Uh, I think that my colleagues at, at the university who would like Grant Reddick, who's uh, who taught acting, but he's, he's also a wonderful actor. And uh, Victor Mitchell, the first head of the drama department, who built this drama department from nothing into something, and we were all so proud of it, especially in the late 60s and the 70s. Because for a while it was, you know, the best show in town, because he had such good people working there. And uh, I really liked, uh, now I can't remember her last name, Kate. Um, I was in the Beauty Queen of Linan with Kate. Kate Henning? Kate, Kate Henning. Henning. Thank you. I, we were so complimented because Bob, Bob White, who directed it for, at ATP, he said, I want you ladies to know this is the first time I've ever sat in a seat for opening night. Because he's usually pacing in the Because he, he thought it would be all right. <laughs> But I, I thought she was wonderful, and I'm sure she still is, and that was a big highlight. Also working with Dean Paul um, Gibson when I played in Vigil. Uh, see, these are all plays from my 70s onward, and that was a joy. I just could hardly wait to get to work every day. And Glynis Lasham directed it, and, and Dean played the man and I played the woman. Oh, another person who changed my life was Herbie Whitaker. Yeah, because I directed Happy Days uh, for the Dominion Drama Festival. This was before Calgary had a professional theater, and I figured out if I directed a play for the Dominion Drama Festival, people would come because they would come because it was the festival. They sure didn't like Happy Days very much. And so my the, the woman was not, she was a colleague of mine at the university who played Winnie. And we had heard that, that Herbie Whitaker didn't like this kind of theater. So we're sitting in the back waiting for the adjudication. And, uh, and he started out by saying, my heart sank when I read that uh, a woman was doing happy days in Calgary, but, and when he said but, we both went like this, you know. And he, and he just was full of nice things and gave it first prize and some people booed in the audience because some people had walked out in the first act. You had know. Beckett been done in Calgary? No, I don't think, well I don't think not much of that kind of thing had been done. Certainly not for a general audience and so it was quite exciting. And so tell me more about Herbie Whitaker. Did you then get to know him? Yeah, we sort of became friends. Well, I mean, not close friends, but when I went to Toronto, I saw him from time to time. And he just, it changed my life here because I was this woman who was doing these peculiar plays for, and for small audiences, right? But then I did, and the bigger audience came, but it got this stamp of approval, so they couldn't ignore me anymore. You know, they couldn't just dismiss me as a flake. And, but at, because, I mean, did, Herbert Whitaker didn't direct you as well. Did no. he ever do direct no, you? No, no, So, but he was a theater critic. Yeah. Now, okay, you don't have that kind of relationship much anymore. No, well, I don't know. I thought that we had it with Martin Morrow here. And, you know, now he's in the East. He's a critic for the CBC online, I think. But he, I thought he was very good. And Jamie Portman was here. Jamie Portman, you know, started out not liking the kind of stuff that some of us were doing, but he ended up liking it, and we all became, you know, pretty good friends. Not saying in a way that your production influenced. I think a bunch of us did, yeah. And I certainly think with Martin Morrow, he started out not liking One Yellow Rabbit and ended up writing a book about them. I think that's great. That's powerful, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. What else can you say about Herbie Whitaker? Well, I just I liked him. I just liked him a lot. Smart. Yeah. He was very smart. He was a designer too. And it's, a warm person. Yeah, he loved the theater. You know, the critics that that bother me the most are the ones that, when I read them, I think they must not like it very much. <laughs> and if they have a passion for it, then it's easier to take.